Welcome back guys. I've got two journals to share with you. Um, these are more in the vintage theme and I've done them similar to some of in the past with um, it's an envelope cover that's been reinforced and then I've gone over it with some beeswax so you can see a bit of that and it does give the journals a really nice feel. Um, just working on <clears throat> more layering. I told you I've been taking a couple courses. So I'm just trying to um, expand on that, really. And just this one I've named Bouquet, and the other one is Vintage Rose. I'll go through this first. Um, I've got some old buttons here, as you can see. And then this flips over, and then I've just pinned in a couple of these little vintage journaling cards. Um, most of the stuff in this one was a Tsunami Rose. <clears throat> this was the first kit I ever purchased, to be honest, when I started. Um, and it's a, it's a very nice kit. Um, I believe this was the Charming Fragments um, from Tsunami Rose. So it's a nice kit if you're just getting started. Um, <clears throat> because there is a lot to it. Another image. Um, this is a fabric pocket here. Again, just trying to use up um, things that I've printed out and uh, just various scraps from my stash. This is an old ledger and I just backed it <coughs> Excuse me, with some tea dyed paper, did some stitching, and... Uh, so you've got a little journal card there, and this is just a download off the internet. Now this is an old um, cigarette card. I just stuck that in there. So there, I think there's quite a lot of um, genuine vintage things in this one. Um, and then, as I said, I tried to keep the whole theme. You know, with the I've got some fabric snippets as tabs and just <clears throat> anything I thought coordinated. These little pockets are Tsunami Rose, Edith Holden book page. Um, this is just some junk mail that I avocado dyed. I love how that came out. And then this is an old uh, receipt that I've just printed out on cardstock so that it would be a journal card. Another image from my stash, and then this is just like a little, oh, like a faux post, um, postage stamp, um, tuck spot, and then some fabric. And then this is some old, like an old ticket, um, but I've just photocopied those and printed those out. And then this is a, just an altered <coughs> tag that I made. Here I've done a little flip over with a tuck spot here and just old bits and pieces I layered up, tucked those in and then up here I just made just another little long journaling tag. <coughs> this is um, the last two of these little bank envelopes I've got and then just a little vintage playing card I've tucked in there. But yeah, I've <coughs> had those for a while in my stash and I've just <laughs> recently found those again. Lots of old book pages in this. Um, fabric ruffles. And then this is the center signature. Isn't that a beautiful page? And just some little... Um, that I've added onto that. Here, this has just been a, a book, a paper clip that I just aged, and then these were in my stash. And as I said, I'm just really trying to go through and um, use up things that I had printed. And here's a, a time card that I've, I've run that through the printer. So that's a little another little journaling place for you. 
And then some more of this. This is an old sewing book that I've got, and I absolutely love those images. Uh, a bit more of the snippet tab. Isn't that beautiful? A couple more journal cards here. And then this has just been folded up into a pocket, and I've done some sewing on there. There's quite a lot of stitching throughout the journal. And then this is the back of that uh, junk mailer. And I've just put another little um, journal card in there. And then when that flips over, it just shows through. This has all been avocado dyed. I love that. So it just gives such a beautiful color, that avocado. Um, Edith Holden page. This is more uh, Tsunami Rose. And then just another little tag I created. Here's an old uh, file folder. It's very thick, so I didn't want to do much to that. That's just been decoupaged on, and then um, so you can do some journaling there. more stitching, and then little places for you to journal. Here, this is some of the things I was working on last week I was while I was relaxing in the evening. I just did these little fabric um, tip-ins, and then you got the little embellishments there. And in the back, I've just got a um, little pocket here and pocket behind. I didn't put anything in there because they're pretty full. So that is um, the bouquet, and then I'll we'll very quickly go through the um, <coughs> vintage rose one. They're very similar. Um, I've created them the same. These wax, just um, that's a little card on that one. Isn't it beautiful the way it's layered up? And then here I've just got the same images there, but I've tucked them in and got the tiny little Tim Holtz uh, paper clip. Another fabric pocket here. I love these papers. Um, another little tag from a <coughs> vintage ledger. And then um, this is another little cigarette card. Some, this is some vintage fabric. And uh, very similar, but you know, there's a few things different. This is another one of the little tuck spots there, a bit of fabric. <clears throat> and then here, another little journal card tucked in there. I think these have got about, <coughs> excuse me, 54 pages for writing in. Gosh, I'm sorry about my scratchy throat again today, guys. I've got some water around somewhere, but stitching, um, some more of the fabric snippets. And then I've got another one of the little bank cards in here. <coughs> Not bank cards, uh, bank envelope there. And then a vintage playing card just tucked in. Another little altered tag. And I love that. Another little journal card. <clears throat> That's the center of this signature. And then uh, there's three little journal cards there. And then this same thing here, you got the journal card that peeks through. And these are Artie Mays. She's got an ephemera, a couple of ephemera kits, and uh, that's from that kit. So you can check her shop out because she has a beautiful ephemera as well. Another of those old sewing pages. A gorgeous image. 
very uh, 60s. Another little time card. And another fabric snippet tab. And then this page just flips over. Another one of the um, index cards. Like I said, they're really thick, so these are pretty old ones. I've had those for a while. And then this is another little fabric um, tip in, so you can do some private writing. <clears throat> and that's some really old trim there that I had in my stash. Oh, I can just never have enough lace, I tell you. I keep thinking, oh, I won't buy any more until I thin it out, but every time I spot it out at the car boot or the flea markets, I cannot resist, guys. It's it's unbelievable, but I do get through a lot of it, so it's I'm not really bothered about that. Um, the buttons are starting to get out of out of control, but and then just another spot. Uh, spot behind there as well. Yeah, my buttons, I finally have had to um, thin those down a bit. Because <clears throat> some of them, you know, you buy a big batch of buttons and there's some in there that you know you're just not going to use because they're too thick and bulky. So, little by little, still sorting through. I'm hoping to show you guys my um, a little tour of my space, my happy space, but um, i just still got a few more things I'm working on. But, there they are, guys. Those are my latest uh, journals. Those will be in the shop for sale if you're interested. And um, I did want to say um, I do combine shipping. My checkout at the shop, I've tried so many times to sort out the shipping. And the only way I can do it is, is just refund the difference. So if you did bought, purchase um, a couple of items, rest assured I will refund the difference on the shipping so um, but it will just automatically charge you for it but I always go back as soon as I know what the charge is going to be and I refund the difference so anyways I hope you guys are having a good week and I will be back very soon take care bye